Welcome back to AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE. This is chapter 9.3.5, Inverse Matrix and Simultaneous Equations. Previously, we have talked about finding the inverse matrix by solving a simultaneous equation, but there is another way of finding the inverse matrix, and we can use that to solve a simultaneous equation. Take general matrix M equals A, B, C, D. There are three steps to find the inverse. Step 1, find the determinant. The determinant, notated by D, E, T, is a value associated with any matrix. It is given as A, D minus B, C for all 2 by 2 matrices. Step 2, rearrangement. The position of A and D are reversed. Step 3, sign change. The value of B and C are multiplied by minus 1. Now we can put together the result of the matrix together with 1 over DET to get this. This is the inverse matrix. Now take matrix A equals to 3, 5, 1, 2. Find the inverse matrix A to the minus 1. Once again, step 1, find DET. AD minus BC is 3 times 2 minus 1 times 5, which equals to 1. Step 2, rearrange. So 2 and 3 are in reverse position. So we get 2, 5, 1, 3. Step 3, sign change to 2 minus 5 minus 1, 3. Finally, put together the DET with the matrix to get 1 over 1 times 2 minus 5 minus 1, 3 to get 2 minus 5 minus 1, 3. That is our inverse matrix. To verify this, multiply matrix A with the inverse matrix A to the minus 1. And the result is the identity matrix, 1, 0, 0, 1. Now consider the simultaneous equation 3x plus 5y equals to minus 1, and x plus 2y equals to minus 1. This can be rewritten in the form of a matrix multiplication, 3, 5, 1, 2, multiplied by xy equal to minus 1, minus 1. This is the equivalent of A multiplied by xy. Since we know that the inverse of A is A to the minus 1, equals to 2 minus 5, minus 1, 3, we can multiply both sides by a to the minus 1, so that on the left hand side, we have an identity matrix, which doesn't affect the value of xy. Therefore, the matrix equation become xy equals 2 minus 5 minus 1, 3, multiplied by minus 1 minus 1. So, x is equal to minus 2 plus 5, which is 3, and y is equal to 1 minus 3, which equals to minus 2. Keynotes. Remember the three steps of finding the inverse matrix. Finding the determinant, rearranging, then change sign. Also, take care about dealing with fractions, as they can mess up your calculations. As usual, I have made a few questions for you to do and I will give you a few minutes and you can pause the video right here to have a go at these questions. And these are the answers to the questions. I hope you've learned something, and I'll see you next time.